The Health and Science Academy at BJM offers students a really unique educational opportunity. They will be taking classes they wouldn't take at other high schools as a part of their science program. They'll be doing work with educational partners within uh, Saskatoon and, and beyond that are working with us to help in that teaching process. They also receive dual credits uh, through some of our post-secondary institutions uh, while they're in high school. And all of this we think will provide them with a really well-rounded and unique educational experience that will make them better prepared for post-secondary and allow them to follow their passion. It's really nice to have these people come in because then we're able to ask the questions and we're also um, able to understand their experiences because they've dealt with a lot of the questions that we have firsthand so they are able to give us their um, opinion and their educated um, answer to our questions that we have. I think it's really interesting how in the Health and Science Academy we're able to involve health and science into our everyday classes, not just science, we're able to involve it into English and Catholic studies, which is really interesting because then we're not just doing your basic learning, we're doing your basic curriculum, but also we're adding in topics that we're interested in, which gets our us students a lot more engaged and um, excited about our learning. I think the importance of this class is really um, kind of goes along with our class model. We have a class model that's uh, educate yourself, bust the myths, and end the stigma. And I think in today's society, um, one of the biggest barriers for people that suffer from mental health problems or mental illness is that stigma attached to mental illness and mental health problems and they, they fear getting help and so the point of this class is to teach the kids about good mental health but also that sometimes um, problems arise and that we can't avoid things like death in the family or, or divorce or, or problems beyond our control and we have to learn to cope and, and be resilient. Um, and then some people um, suffer from illness which is a brain function disorder and through no fault of their own just like someone who uh, suffers from diabetes or cancer, um, we want to encourage those people to talk about it freely. And so I think by educating kids when they're young, that our hope is that someday people will talk about their depression or their anxiety or their OCD the same way they would about any physical illness they have and that they're willing to ask for help. When the students in the Health and Science Academy decided to join the Health and Science Academy, they had to write an essay that really showed that they had a large interest in health and science. And with bringing in different things like vaccinations or different things like working in the residences, they have that interest already. So if they're interested in something, I find then they're more apt to um, learn and they're more apt to really get engaged in the activity that we're doing and if you're engaged then you learn a lot better. We've had some speakers from the nursing college, some students, fourth year students from there come in. They talk to us about vaccinations and then I had the students write persuasive paragraphs about the vaccinations that they talked to us about. I re really learned to uh, enjoy uh, nature and, wor and the world and everything a lot more and respect it a lot more because I know uh, all the harm that can be done to it by uh, humans and I've just, we've learned a lot uh, about preserving it and how we can do that and uh, just everything about the environment. The environment is such an amazing, beautiful thing that uh, has so many awesome aspects to it and uh, we, we really need to learn to uh, treat it with respect. The assignments aren't uh, easy assignments. You have to really uh, think and go above and beyond to find uh, the answers to things which uh, really uh, allows, my, allows us to um, use that uh, knowledge and use that deeper level of thinking to uh, find the answers later on in life in post-secondary.